So my mom was trying to figure out what was wrong with her sewing machine. She said that for the life of her, she could not figure out how to get the presser foot going up and down. So what, um, what I did is I looked here, it says it's a Husky Star. And then right here, it's the, it looks like this is a model number, C10. Okay, so I looked that up online. And um, in the manual, I was able to find the manual online. And in the manual, I was able to see um, a picture of this sewing machine. So I knew for sure I had the right one. And then it had a diagram of um, where the, the lever is that's supposed to make the presser foot go up and down. I was pretty sure it was this, but by looking at the manual, I was able to be 100% sure. And see, it's not making the presser foot go up and down. So we know it's broken instead of just guessing that it's broken. And, um, and sometimes you just need to look up the manual. It's really great for being able to figure out if how to thread your machine. This one has a drop-in bobbin, um, where, where things are, what it's capable of. So um, that's what you do when you have questions and you lost your manual. Look it up online. Now we were also trying to figure out where the manual was for her vacuum and it's not here on the front, which means it's got to be somewhere else. Sometimes you'll have a, um, a model number here on the front, but it's not there. So I went looking for a label, and here's the label that has the model number. Num here is the label that has the model number on it. Model model. Um, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct in French, but I'm pretty sure this is French um, and English. So English and French, and there's the model number on NV752. I don't know what the 3 1 is for, but because it's separate, it may or may not be part of the model number. But now I can put that in online and be able to find out. Um, probably be able to find the manual and um, replacement parts if that's what I need. And this is Honey. Ha huh, Honey. Oh Honey is so sleepy. Oh, you're so cute. And you are a regular sized dog. Unlike the Bruce. But you met Bruce once, huh? Yes. She's not doing anything cute. She is a big dog. She is a big dog, but, you know, she's a regular sized, well. So what's Berkeley then? Berkeley is a medium sized dog. Berkeley is a medium sized dog. Bruce is a t is like, I think a toy dog or an extra, extra small dog. I'm not sure. But Honey here is a large dog. She's not doing anything cute right now, but that's okay. She's a sweetheart.